Come on, just let me see them. No, okay. Dylan, we have to be studying. Well, I could concentrate a little better if you would just let me hold them for one second. Dylan! Georgie, put them in my hands, right? Dylan! You said the cards needed to be hidden somewhere safe where no one would look. My diary's it. Maxie doesn't even know I keep one. So what, you just gonna shove them in there? No. They're on a special page. The day we met at Kelly's. You mean the day that, that you mauled me to make Lucas jealous? Yeah, but you like being mauled by me. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I did. And you can maul me again once you prove to me that the cards are safe. <sighs> Satisfied? A lot of people are looking for those. You know, we can't let them out of our sight. I won't. I'll be here all day. Really? All day? Because I kind of wanted to see the new Tarantino. Dylan, I have to study my math. Oh, what? Did you get another B minus? Actually, a B, but I convinced my dad to hire me a tutor. Oh, my God. You are such a geek. A geek who's going to Ivy League. <laughs> um, put those somewhere safe. Not obvious, like under your bed or in a soft drawer covered. or something. Okay. Also, until... We decide what we're going to do with those. Nobody can know that we have those cards, okay? Okay. <laughs> you knocked me off of that ladder on purpose. You fell for me. I suppose it had to happen eventually. You could have broken my neck. Then where would you be? Well, no worse off than I was last night when you dragged me and stole my cards. Oh, those cards have been nothing but bad luck. My yes, I know. Here. You don't have to keep reminding me about the family bad luck, okay? Does that justify knocking me out? Huh? We were just having a couple of drinks. I'm sorry if you can't keep up with the little girl. Oh, no, I can keep up with you. That's how I found you today. And could you be any more obvious, you know, peeking in the police commissioner's house? Police commissioner? Yeah, Max Scorpio. He lives here with his family. I assume you're following a lead on the cards. What I do with those cards is none of your business because they belong to the McCalls. I agree. Okay, that's not the way you saw it yesterday. I don't have time to argue with you. I am willing to pay for those cards. <laughs> All the money in the world would never make up for the trouble that you've put my family through. Would you say a uh, million dollars a piece? You're willing to give me two million dollars? You can have a life at sea and not have any worries in the world and never work again. Yeah, I, I could probably <laughs> get myself a new salvage boat. Yes. Best money can buy. Really good, big salvage boat. All right. I knew it. You're baiting me all Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You'll get the check. When I get the cards, just meet me at the penthouse. Come in. Georgie? Yes? I'm Mrs. Todaski, your math tutor. Wow, that was fast. A uh, bay is a pretty serious business. Right, but, um, how did you get in? I didn't think anybody was home. Your sister was on her way out. Okay, um, so, have you been teaching math in Port Charles for long? I transferred from down south. Let's get started. What class are you in? Advanced. We're studying polynomial equations. Maybe we should just cover the basics first. Like what? Long division. I did that in like the third grade. Fine. Fine if you're if you're feeling confident, but you got to remember you are not gonna get into a good college with base. Why don't you just read me a problem then? Alright, okay. I got this one wrong on the test. Um it's negative 1x to the fifth plus 3x to the third minus 4x squared minus x equals 2. I found the parent function in the local max and minimums, but I could not find the imaginary zeros. Why don't you read it again? 
Maybe you'll understand it better. I've read it like nine times. Yeah, well, let it, let it soak in. Okay. Negative 1x to the fifth plus 3x to the third minus 4x squared minus x equals 2. Don't worry about a thing, kid. We'll be done here before you can say abacus. Inspector Dillon, I know you have the cards. I'm going to pay you for them, for all of them. <clears throat> Too late. You burned them? Yeah, I did what I had to do. Now my family's bad luck will finally change. Well, you better hope it does. Because if my father dies, you're gonna need it. <laughs>